not talking about one. Star Trails. Okay, light painting plus tar trails. Up, 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 up. Obviously, we're not experts at star trails. But we've been experimenting quite a bit for the past few years. The first shots were almost pure luck. Now we understand much better <laughs> what we do. Tonight we'll, we're gonna use photo pills to plan our shot. And we're not gonna go in, de in depth about like how to do star trails, but we're gonna explain a bit uh, the gist of it. Shooting with this. Yeah. The, the priests and the nuns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These guys. What a beautiful place. <laughs> Keep me striking uh, everywhere we go so we can go back and find, uh, find back the spots. But this one dates from way too long ago and we were not looking for the exact same spot. Actually, we took another path, but Somehow we're back at the same place yeah. we shot three years ago. It looks like it's the perfect place. And we, we shot a Star Trails here. It was the exact <laughs> centered point. And we didn't even know about these things back then. And I might not use this part, but we just filmed the intro about Star Trails, but now it's getting cloudy, so we yeah. might change the topic talk about uh, my lasagna recipe, I don't know. Uh, it's weird to have you on that truck, but um, that's the best option I have so far for the composition. Uh, we'll get rid of our things and we'll try again. In cases like this where we want to have the, uh, the rock formations look closer, we need a longer focal length. So I'm going to switch from 14 to 35 and we'll test the composition using that. Yeah, 35, it looks really good. I have enough space on top of you. So waist level would be this, and that, that seems to be the ideal. And I would probably go with 135 and 124 because I want to have a larger field of view. But I want to film the whole thing also. <laughs> so I have to sacrifice something. The weight balance. The weight balance is not applied to the pixels in your pictures. If you're shooting raw, we are shooting raw, right? That means that you could shoot the whole night on automatic white balance, daylight, whatever. It doesn't change anything. You can change it later on in Lightroom. That works fine. This is what I used to do back in the days when I was a kid, but over the years, I start to play with manual temperature. So I really select a specific temperature. And the reason why I'm doing that, that sometimes I was shooting like halfway in the night. And I thought that my colors were off. Like the, the color of my tube was not good. And the sky was ugly. <laughs> so, but I, as soon as I start to, to adjust the white balance, 
it started to pop a bit more and so I started to to really play with the, the manual uh, temperature so I start the night at 5200 Kelvin and I crank down to 3200 at the end of the night when we're shooting with the stars so the blue hour like the deep blue is about 4000 Kelvin and at 4000 you get this exact picture right here so basically going from warmer to colder as it gets darker and it's it's mostly about seeing like directly the the right colors per se like what you what you would want the colors to look like mm -hmm. so it's more satisfying on like during the process mm -hmm. and that's mainly why when we do workshops sometimes people even if they have the same setting as we do they they say like oh my pictures are not as good as yours like the the colors are not as good but yeah, in those cases, most of the time, it's a it's a question of white balance more yeah. than anything else. Exactly. And uh, three more advanced tricks about that. I do magenta plus two on my cameras all the time. So all all of my images are have magenta plus two. And I also do, I lower my contrast. I lower my saturation. Because as we're shooting uh, light painting in the night, we get a lot of contrast and, and when I when we're in a group and I look at the other viewfinders I like got the other images from the other people they are looks way too contrasty while mine are looking good but my my picture at during the day would be flat it would look flat because I'm using a flat profile picture like saturation down contrast down but that works so much better with light painting but because it's already so contrasty so colorful and sometimes it's just too much so bring it down and the image you're going to capture is going to be mostly like the end result barely no post processing to do if you're well aligned if your settings are right you, you won't have any post processing to do and it's so satisfying to have an image that you capture that is the same on your camera on your computer in your final print on a billboard When I said that I I go down to 3200 these are the nights where we shoot with the the Milky Way or the stars but tonight was very different it was um, very hazy kind of cloudy but not that much we, we could see some stars through the clouds but that changed a few things for me I went at 2800 so very bluish and um, and my my tube was even too uh, getting too blue so I used the the rose browns tube and then it started to really pop so I think that it worked well but like I just did it so I'm not sure I have to double check later on a bigger monitor but I think that it worked well we ended up the night with a stop motion of how many frames I stopped counting at 45 I think my guess it is 90 90 frames stop motion with the stars the milky way the clouds and many planes that i might take away i'm not sure yet <laughs> I 
I guess it, it's experience like the more we do it like the more I see like the, the moment where I have to change the white balance mm -hmm. um, but it's not always the same there's no exact recipe I think uh, because depending on the clouds on the different the, on the direction you're shooting you're not gonna change the white balance at the same moment you're not gonna go you're not gonna start as uh, as high or, or go as low like tonight we're shooting um, opposite to the sunset and we started a bit too late because we were, we were talking too much I would have started even warmer if we would have started earlier but mm -hmm. it was okay like we, yeah. we got the prime time which was at about 4200 45 more or less mm -hmm. and one thing I forgot to mention also earlier is that there is another reason why I started to play manually with the white balance and it's the fact that I'm filming all of our sessions and when we're filming we cannot change the white balance later on in post because my cameras cannot shoot in video raw mode so I really have to be careful to, to match the white balance between all of my cameras so when I'm, I'm shooting with three cameras like I always change the white balance on all of them so I'm sure that everything can can match so that's why the colors of the video match the colors of the picture yeah because everything is in sync if I could have a single button to mm -hmm. sync the white balance it would be even better maybe we could do that with X-Angle <laughs> one day okay it's time to leave this place Is that enough? What cracks? Mm. Mm. What, you want bigger ones? 